There may be no team in the NHL with more pressure on them than the Toronto Maple Leafs. David Marasuti of Locked On Leafs is here to talk about that and the team's prospects as we head into the Stanley Cup playoffs. Gil Martin here. The Locked On Road to the Stanley Cup continues as we welcome David Marasuti from Locked On Leafs to take stock of Toronto's chances to make a deep playoff run. And David, uh, what is the biggest storyline for the Toronto Maple Leafs? I know there's a lot of them, but what's the biggest one right now? Well, it just has to be, you know, everyone's waited for this moment for when the playoffs have come. Can they finally finally end that dreaded first round curse? That's that's pretty much it right now in Toronto. It has to be, and I mean, you have that, and then you have haven't won a Stanley Cup since there were six teams in this league, uh, and with a team with such a great history and such a great legacy between the past and the recent past, you you got a lot of pressure there, I would assume. Oh yeah, there's I mean, there's always pressure when you're playing in Trump, but it's been magnified obviously with everything that's gone on the last few years, and. It's just the, the, and for right reasons, the impatience of this fan base that has constantly had to hear about 1967, constantly having to hear about that the last time that they won a series, uh, there wasn't exactly the lot. It was before the lockout, before a salary cap was even implemented <laughs> into the NHL. So it it's just a very tired fan base. They want to see this t- team succeed, but obviously there's a lot of pressure on the players, on everyone involved. And this is kind of like a make or break for a lot of, you know, players and even going up to the top with Kyle Dubas in a lot of ways with what this playoffs bring. So, yeah, the pressure is at an all time high. And obviously it's not the easiest situation to be in, but it's also one I think the players understand that, you know, this has to be the fight. Like, finally, they have to find a way to put this whole thing together. What is the biggest reason why the Maple Leafs will win the Stanley Cup this year? Well, I, I really think that they really understood that they needed to add guys, add players even at the trade deadline that can make impact in these sort of situations, right? You know, Mitch Marner, Austin Matthews, they're the ones that stir they're they're the ones that are gonna be, you know, the game breakers. They're the ones that are gonna have to elevate their game, obviously. But when you look at what has gone against this team in past years, is they haven't been able to get the contributions from other sources, right? You know, the Tampa Bay Lightning, when they beat the Leafs last year, it wasn't Kucherov, it wasn't Stamkos, it wasn't Braden Point that beat them. It was a guy like Nick Paul who beat the Leafs, right? Goaltending is another one, obviously, too. I think the goaltending should be better uh, this time around than it was last year. But I I still think that, you know, when you add a guy like Ryan O'Reilly, and he is your secondary contribution in terms of what you're expecting from him, When you add guys with a little more muscle to it, like a Luke Shad, Jake McCabe, to stabilize that defense, now the Leafs have to just worry about making sure that they they don't beat themselves. It's pretty much has been the issue with this team is they find ways to beat themselves rather than losing to an opponent because the opponent was like just better than them. You know they've had a lot of close games. Game sevens have always been the curse with this team. It's always been a mental hurdle they haven't been able to overcome. So if you're the Leafs, you have to find a way to just get over that mental hump. You, and I think they added the right pieces at the deadline to help them do so. It's just all got to come together. And what would be the biggest reason why the Leafs won't win the Cup? I, I just think if if they're not able to get their big, big guns to step up, that's going to undo everything that Kyle Dubas has done to bolster this team. You can add as many depth pieces in the Stanley Cup – playoffs but you've seen with the teams that have gone on to win it it's the top players that do it but i i I still think the biggest x factor is going to be in goal can Ilya samsonov do what no other leaf goaltender has been able to do since ed belfort and that's win a playoff series who do you think is the key player to watch on this team and it's a team full of stars and great players I think it's Mitch Marner. A lot of people might think it's Austin Matthews, but I think Mitch Marner, when he is at the top of his game, the Leafs are just a totally different team. Like he, he is probably in a lot of ways. A lot of people don't understand that when, when the Leafs are at the most dominant, it's because Mitch Marner is at his most dominant. And that's, that's something that I think a lot um, is going to, it hasn't been the fact in a lot, the last few playoffs rounds 
Marner's had spurts, but he hasn't had that superstar level of production. And if they get superstar level production from Mitch Marner, they should be able to go on a deep run. What would a successful playoff run look like for the Leafs? And what's if what's at stake if they don't get it done this year? Yeah, everyone's going to say, at least get out of the first round. This is a team that's not looking to go past just the first round. They got to get, you know, Stanley Cup finals, really conference finals. The problem is, is they got such a tough task ahead of them. They got the Lightning, potentially the Bruins, and then whoever comes out of the Metropolitan side of things. But this team has been talking about Stanley Cup, and that's been the tough part because they haven't even been able to get past the first round. The expectations have always been up here, and they've had a hard time, I think, really achieving it because they've had to aim so high every time they come to the playoffs. But that's the reality of the situation. When they go out and they make all these big signs, when they get all these big-name players, they should be going on deep runs. And I feel like if they get past the first round, you know, the next few rounds, I feel the pressure will be, you know, there'll still be pressure, but it won't be so much, and they should be able to go on a run. I would think there'd be more pressure if it is a, a Maple Leafs Bruins second round. There'd be more, almost more pressure on Boston. I think so because, you know, the Bruins are a bit of an older team. And look, when you're a team that goes on, wins the President's Show, if you go and have set records in the regular season, there's a target on your back, right? And for the Leafs' sake, you have to hope that the Bruins get a bit of a challenge in the first round so that, the you know, following so that you're not going into a team that hasn't been really that hasn't been battle tested and they're just waiting to play their best it's it's going to be very interesting the, Le- the Leafs have had their struggles against Boston this season so it's not going to be an easy task for sure but the Leafs also feel comfortable that they can go up against any team in the league and if the Leafs don't pull it off this year what's at stake for the franchise oh it, it's it's really, I think you're going to be seeing sweeping changes because you can't sell to the fan base that, oh, you know, we're going to try it again or we're going to run it back again. You're going to, you're just going to be losing the fan base at that point, the players that it sells, you know, there's going to be some tough decisions when it comes to contracts. Kyle Dubas does not have a contract past this season. So, yeah, this is like, the Leafs are setting themselves up as if, if things don't happen, you're going to be seeing changes. Well, should be a very interesting postseason. David, thank you so much. That does it for our Leafs preview here on the Locked On Road to the Stanley Cup. Be sure to subscribe to or follow Locked On Leafs for free on YouTube and wherever you get your podcasts. The Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.